What is going on guys? I just had a major breakthrough on the Golf, which is uh, super amazing. I just got the speedometer working, which is super nice because everyone on the internet said that wouldn't work. So uh, I just thought I, uh, I just have to make a video on it to show you guys how to do it because uh, it's pretty simple, uh, especially if you're using ECU Master. But uh, I will go to the, oh, you can't even see it. I got the board over there, so I will show you uh, basically how it works and I will uh, pop the hood for you and uh, I'll show you to make the speedometer work you don't have to do any coding or, or anything which is awesome so uh, let's get going all right so I uh, made a drawing yesterday uh, I'll have to lower the ISO for you, but I made a drawing yesterday, but uh, there's a ton of stuff in the way, so I'm not going to show you actually. I was just lying, but I'll pop the hood and uh, I'll try to explain to you guys anyways. There we go. So originally on the five speeds and the six speeds, you got the VSS sensor on the gearbox which uh, takes a uh, 12 volt and ground and sends a signal to the cluster that you guys have. No matter if you're using the big cluster or the small one, you get the VSS signal. Now, a lot of people say that you have to uh, code the cluster to make it work with the DSG gearbox because it only has a speed via CAN. It doesn't have a VSS sensor. But for me, I'm using uh, ECU Master and it talks via CAN uh, to all the uh, control modules and stuff, including the DSG. So I actually get speed into the DSG. Now that means I can simulate a VSS output from the ECU Master to the OEM uh, VSS pin on the original contact. So I will show you down there. I'll see if I can get a good picture for you. Uh, and I'll also show in the ECU master uh, what settings you need to change to make this work. And uh, to double check everything and see that you also got the speed in the DSG box or, or uh, ECU master rather. I'll take down the PC and I'll show you guys. All right, so I got the uh, PC starting here. Now I'll show you guys as good as I can. Down here, it's kind of hot, you got this connector. And this connector goes to the VSS sensor OEM on the five speed and I'm pretty sure it's the same on the six speed. Now I just took the right uh, VSS pin here. I'll uh, show you guys. And that is pin number two. It's the white cable with a blue stri stripe on it. Uh, now you also got ground that's uh, brown and you got 12 volt, which is, I want to say it was a uh, black with a white, white stripe on it. But the VSS sensor is white with a blue stripe, a thin blue stripe on it. So that goes directly to the cluster. Now, to make this work, you need to take a new cable from pin number two all the way to the ECU master. This may look very, very, very messy, but what you got to double check is you go to log down here and then you got VSS and gears so you want to open that and you get this column now here you can see you got vehicle speed and VSS frequency and gear ratios and everything now because we're talking with the DSG gearbox via CAN we get an actual speed here and a VSS frequency in Hertz so we actually have all the info we need in the ECU master now. Now to fix this, uh, you can close this down. Then we go to up here, you got outputs and you got speedometer out output. You open that and here is a little bit of info. So you choose the output you want from the uh, ECU master and then you get a multiplier. Now we already got the multiplier because it talks to the DSG gearbox, so it seems to be pretty accurate. Uh, I'm 
just shy of five kilometers short. Uh, so if I'm running uh, 110 on the speedo, uh, I'm actually, according to GPS at least, running about 105 kilometers an hour. You just choose an output. In my case, it's G11, gray connector 11, uh, because that was empty, it's not used. And then you draw the cable from connector G11, gray 11, to the VSS input, the white cable with the blue stripe. So that's pretty much all you gotta do when you're talking with the, uh, the DSG gearbox via ECU master and CAN and everything like that. Now I'm sure uh, if you're running another standalone uh, unit, you got that as well. I'm not sure if uh, when you're running Ignitron, I know a lot of you guys uh, like Ignitron. I don't know if it has the capabilities to get uh, custom outputs as well, because it's like a modular uh, OEM ECU, right? Uh, so it's possible you actually uh, can get an output from that and put it to the VSS input uh, to get that working. Now that solves a lot of problem for, uh, for us running the DSG gearbox. You get both the speedometer working and you get a working uh, tank, tank, uh, tank, what's it called, gas? I have tank about it, Felix. Fuel gauge, you, you get a working fuel gauge as well um, because it's not updating in real time and that's like a correlating issue that you get. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys because it's uh, kind of important. You don't need to use some uh, EEPROM coding. And as you guys know, I just got the small cluster. I got this one here. So I don't even have a display or anything. And that's uh, usually recommended when you use this or uh, need to EEPROM code. And another uh, pro to this is you get access to all of the... Uh, Launch con not launch control, or maybe even launch control. Uh, I'm not a pro on that yet, but I'm gonna look into it. But launch control as well as anti-spin. Uh, so you can uh, put that in ECU master uh, as well and uh, regulate that and uh, all that stuff. Get anti-spin by uh, speed or uh, RPM and everything like that. So you also get that working. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you got the three pin connector, nothing difficult to find. So from, from the three pin here, you've got the blue cable. I just uh, draw, took a two pin wire. Uh, you just pull that all the way around, back to the ECU master. I hope this info was uh, useful to you guys. Uh, to me, it's pretty big because as I said, not even ECU master knew this would work. They say uh, you don't have a ABS or uh, any info on that to the ECU master, but it seems like you do, at least the uh, speed. And uh, yeah, you don't need to EEPROM code either, which is super duper awesome. So uh, I hope it will work for you guys as well, and I'll see you in the next video.